in my comment sections, I've walked people through how to bypass their power saver switch from your electric company. So now I've decided to just make a video of how to do this so I could just reference people to that if somebody ever comes across this. So what this thing does is it's from the power company. On really hot days, everybody's running their AC at the same time. This thing will cycle your power off for 15 or 30 minutes, 45 sometimes, and it'll cycle you know, you and your neighbors sporadically so not everybody's running their AC at the same time not to overwhelm the electric grid. That's the idea behind it. And usually they'll give you some kind of discount every month for having this thing installed. But sometimes what will happen is the voltage coming in from your furnace control board will come out here, it'll go into this thing, but because it is defective, it'll not come back out and go into your condenser unit, therefore your contactor plunger will not pull in. And to check if that is the case or not is actually pretty simple. You can do it with a meter, or if you don't have a meter, there is a way you can bypass it to check if this thing is actually bad. So if you look at the wall of your house, typically your thermostat wire that is coming from the control board, most of the time it'll be a two wire. It's gonna be a brown wire like this, and inside of it there's a red and a white wire. This thermostat wire will come either from your disconnect, like mine right here, it'll come out from somewhere around the disconnect, or sometimes it even comes with the Freon pipes right here. I know it's not Freon, it's R22 by the way. But anyways, that thermostat wire, just look for it, it'll come out of the wall somewhere. And in my case, it just comes out right here, and then they have it zip tied to the electrical whip. Now, if you notice, the power saver switch also has a white thermostat wire coming from it. And that too is connected with zip ties to my electrical whip and goes into my unit as well. And if you trace that, you can see that these wires go in here, both of them, both of the thermostat wires, and they come out on the other end like this. So let me try to explain this a little bit. Here is your thermostat wire coming from the furnace control board. At the control board, these two wires are connected to Y and common. So as you can see, one of those thermostat wires goes into this blue wire, and this blue wire goes into my contactor coil right here. So one side of that thermostat wire goes right into the contactor coil. That's gonna be this white wire right here. But if you notice, the other wire, the red one, goes into a wire nut and it's wire knotted together into the red wire that comes into the white thermostat wire which is going to my power saver switch. So it goes to the power saver switch, it goes through that switch and it comes back on this white wire. So sometimes what happens is voltage will go into the switch but it'll not come back out. Now that may mean that they just have you cycled off but if your AC wasn't working for hours or days then most likely that's something else, not just them cycling you off. And if you wanna be sure, you could always call your electric company, give them your address, and they will tell you if they have you cycled off or not. So once the saver switch sends power back, as you can see, the power will come back on the white wire, go into the yellow, and my yellow wire will go right back into the contactor coil on the other side, which will energize the coil if the thermostat is calling for cooling, and pull in that plunger. So that is how it works. Now for the checking part of it, I'll start first with how to check it with a meter. With a meter, you'll just set your meter to voltage. So one meter lead you'll put into the wire coming from your control board in the furnace, and the one that goes right into your contactor. You could either stick it into the wire nut until you reach the metal part, or to make it simpler, you could just put your lead on the blue wire right on the terminal spade where it connects. So one lead will go there, and the other lead you will put into the wire nut that connects to the wire going into your power saver switch. I have zero volts right here, but that's because my thermostat is off right now. If your thermostat is calling for cooling, you should have 24 volts here. So once you verify that you have 24 volts coming from your furnace, then you just have to verify if that voltage is going out of the power saver switch. So the power goes into the power saver switch through this red wire right here. So if you go put one lead into the wire nut that's connected to the furnace control board thermostat wire and then put your other lead on the other side of that power saver switch. You should have zero volts if the switch is closed. If you have 24 volts that actually means that that switch is open and that power switch is defective or you're being cycled off during this time. 
So basically, that power saver switch is simply wired in series between your contactor coil and the furnace control board. Now, if you don't have a meter, a really easy way to check is to simply take this power saver switch completely out of the circuit. To do that, all you would have to do is disconnect all your wire nuts. I will show you how. And by the way, um, you might want to take a picture of this so you know how to put this thing back together after you're done doing this. So disconnect all your wires, all the wire nuts I mean, like such. So once you got your wire nuts off, here is the thermostat wire going to your power saver switch. We are simply going to take it out of the circuit. You can either put some wire nuts on it, tape it, or just move it out of the way. Make sure it's not touching any metal, just in case. It shouldn't have any voltage going there because what supplies the voltage is the brown thermostat wire right here. And then you would wire the two wires that go to the contactor coil straight to the thermostat wire coming from the furnace control board. So you would put the blue one to the red. It doesn't matter how you do it. Yellow can go here or here. Blue can go there or there too. So for example, I would put the blue here, the yellow here, put my wire nuts back on, and turn my unit back on. Now, if the unit turns on and it works just fine, then you know that your power saver switch is bad. If your unit is still not turning on, then there's something else going on. Maybe you have some other safety switches wired in series with your contactor coil, or the furnace control board is simply not sending power out. Well guys, and that is how you check your power saver switch, and different electric companies will have different names for them, but it'll basically be a box like this that is typically located right next to your disconnect box that is coming to your AC unit. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mash that like button on your way out and we'll see you next time.